After nearly five months aboard the International Space Station, NASA's SpaceX Crew-10 is about to return to Earth. Watch as the capsule makes its final descent towards splashdown off the coast of Florida. These are the top moments. And a great live view from the spacecraft itself, seeing those two healthy drogues deployed. And the spacecraft has now slowed down to less than 200 kilometers per hour, and it is now just over two kilometers above the, the water um, as it prepares for splashdown. These daytime views that we get, uh, we don't always get to pick the time when the crew splashes down, but it's awesome when we have a great morning and a clear view watching as the Dragon Endurance spacecraft carrying crew 10 is. Basic Dragon 600 meters. Basic Dragon 600 meters. There we can see another live look of the Dragon Endurance spacecraft carrying crew 10 back home to Earth following their five month mission moments away from splashdown. SpaceX copy splashdown. And we did just hear that confirmation of splashdown. The view that you're seeing on your screen is a little bit delayed, which is why we don't have that visual confirmation yet, but we do have that verbal confirmation between the crew and the core that they have successfully splashed down and Dragon Endurance has now returned home. And there is that live look of Dragon Endurance as it sits on top of the ocean off the coast of San Diego, California. Dragon, SpaceX, we see the onboard for Power One 28 volt converter. No correction required at this time. Stand by for more words. Dragon Cafe, no correction on the caution. Dragon Cafe, no correction on the caution. Dragon Endurance has now returned home, and NASA astronauts Anne McLean, Nicole Ayers, JAXA astronaut Takuya Onishi. And SpaceX Dragon for step 1.2 and Dragon for step 1.2 4 at 800, you see 4 fired. And Dragon, we see the same. And Roscosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov are back on Earth after an approximately 17 and a half hour return journey from space, completing their five month mission aboard the International Space Station.